Over the last five years, Selent University has produced many sports teams to be proud of. Up there with the best of the football and cricket sides. Both have been incredibly successful in the past and this year is no exception. On what was a big occasion for the university, both sides had the opportunity to showcase their skills at two of Hampshire's best sporting venues. First up, hot off the back of their second place finish at the indoor championships, Team Solent Cricket started their outdoor season with a friendly at the Rose Bowl. Stephen Woodgate went along to see how they got on. Hello and welcome to the nursery ground at the Rose Bowl today. Southampton Solent are playing Hampshire's seconds team in a warm-up friendly for the upcoming season. Solent will be able to pitch their wits against the Hampshire side that includes England international Cabrera Alley and prolific swing bowler James Tomlinson. Today is certainly going to be an interesting game, so don't go anywhere. Hampshire's captain for the day, James Tomlinson, won the toss and decided to give Solent a bat in an attempt to find some rhythm in his batting. Solent opener Tom Morton spoke about the prospect of playing Hampshire and Alley today. Going into the game with a bit of confidence. Yeah, we did well over the winter, we trained well, we had a good sort of indoor season as well, which we got through to the national finals of, so hopefully we can continue in that vein. Fortunately for Solent, Tomlinson won't be bowling. He's under strict orders from the first team coaches. Solent openers Hill and Morton head to the crease when there's a familiar face in the middle. Ex Hampshire bowler Billy Taylor is umpiring as he looks for career after cricket. Playing Alley may not be the easiest of tasks. But Morton and Hill displayed their skills, with many fine shots that flew to the boundary. Hill hit Alley for three successive fours in a splendid batting over, as Solent piled the pressure on. In Alley's final over, Morton had this shot which pleased the crowd. The one-time England test bowler soon left the field to prepare for his batting. Obviously there's always going to be a bit of nerves and stuff, because they're playing against the second, second on the county side. Even though it's a fairly young side we've got, uh, yeah, but so far the guys have done pretty well, they've got pretty decent strides out, uh, openers batted really well, we've just, just taken a wicket, so which is a good, good thing for us. Hill and Morton both departed in quick succession, for 28 and 66 respectively, putting on 97 for the first wicket. After 25 overs, Southampton's Solent cricket team are in a fantastic position, 133 for 2, our seal went for 10 before birthday boy John Cater came to the crease and shared two 50 partnerships with Captain, Adkin and Mahoud. He was almost ran out though with this attempt. Cater continued to find the rope before Haggerty had him caught by Johnson in the second to last over. Team Solent finished on 279 for 6. With John Cater's top score was 69. Will they be able to hold out for the win? Hampshire's innings is coming up next. Ali and Stone opened the Hampshire's reply as Solent worked hard in the field to restrict the pair finding the boundary. As Solent journalists sat around watching the game unfold. Enjoyed this four by Ali as he showed his ability as an all-rounder. Frustrations crept in as Solent only had one wicket for their hard work. Hampshire are currently 116 for one, 15 runs behind what Solent were at this stage. So far this afternoon it's been the Camera Ali show as he passed his 50 with ease without any signs of slipping up. Stone was the man to go though on 38, but now brought James Tomlinson to the crease. This game looks like it's going to the wire. And Tomlinson was ruthless. This six of Avsil showed why he isn't just a tail ender. However, with the scorers looking bored, Solon got their breakthrough. The camera alley show finished as Warner held on from Avsil's bowling. Avsil thought he had Tomlinson caught on the boundary as well but he was dropped over the rope for six more. Avsil finally got his man though, as Tomlinson topped edge and Cater held well underneath. This sparked a batting collapse, as Adkin had also caught behind, before this brilliant run out by Avsil left the home side 232 for six. Adkin had two more as they closed in on victory. Oh, what a ball. Oh. This delivery by Avsil ended Hampshire's innings, as Solent claimed the win. And what an exciting game that was. Solent won by 34 runs, bowling Hampshire out for 245. Yeah, we had a little tumble of wickets in the middle order, and then Johnny came in, he kind of settled it, settled the nerves, and batted really well, got himself 60-odd out, or 60-odd out, unfortunately, but no, he batted well, and he, like, 
put the uh, build the base for the innings really. Yeah, yeah. did alright. Yeah, got a, got a few wickets at the end, which was nice. So, but mainly it was just like as I said, um, a while me at still bowled well. So, the, uh, most bowlers bowled really well. So it was a good team performance. I thought we batted pretty well all down the order really. Tom and Guy gave us a really good start, getting nearly 100 on the board. I thought Johnny Cater's innings at the time he came in was crucial. It made the difference, and then Cush and the other lads at the end pushed it up to a to a good score. It's a good it's a good result for us. It's a good start to the season. Um, we need games like this before we get into the league action, and it's uh, it's a bit of revenge for last year as well because they beat us last year. Brilliant start there for the cricket team, but could Solent's footballers follow suit? They made it to their second successive Southampton Senior Cup final at St Mary's. Standing in Solent's way this year was VTFC Reserves, the only other team to have won the cup in the last four seasons. But Solent were confident of retaining the title and looked pumped up ahead of kickoff. The Solent team sheet had plenty of changes to last season's side, but some familiar faces were back at St Mary's, including last year's man of the match, Ragnar Hovind. James Grant, the side's previous manager, was also in the crowd. The university side had the majority of the possession in the first half, but just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. Unfortunately for them, VT didn't have the same problem. A composed finish from Daniel Mason giving them the lead. Liam Crook had the chance to equalise just before half time, but saw his shot saved by Alex Dunning in the VT goal, leaving Solent the unhappier of the two sides going into the break. Next goal was always going to be key and it looked like it would go Solent's way. Once again though, they failed to capitalise on some great chances. The search for an equaliser left Solent exposed at the back and VT made the most of it. Lee Mort's header giving them a vital two goal cushion going into the last 20 minutes. As Solent missed yet more chances, their frustration began to show and Crook was lucky not to have been sent off. It was clear this wasn't going to be Solent's night. Scenes of jubilation marked the final whistle as VT made it four Southampton Senior Cup wins in five years. Solent, though, were left to rue all those missed opportunities. But to be honest, they had maybe three chances and they took two. That was the difference between the two sides tonight, they took the chances. Um, we didn't take our chance in the first 25 minutes when I think we had the better of the play. Um, we forced the keeper into two or three okay-ish saves, but we didn't really put it in, in the corner of the goal where we needed to. But when we created chances, we didn't take them. If we'd taken the chances, then it could have been a different story. So a day of mixed fortunes for the two sides, but one win out of two isn't a bad return. The cricketers will now look to build on that win as they try to gain promotion back to the top division. And the football side will need to bounce back fast as they're still in with a great chance of winning the Hampshire Premier League. For more reaction to both games, you can go to solent-news.com forward slash sport. I'm Jordan Clark. Thanks for watching.